Hello, how is it going? My name is Jacob Battersby and today we have a sponsored video. We actually got paid to make a video. No, we didn't get paid to make a video, but this company reached out to me to my Monzo videos. These Monzo videos have been doing really, really well. We've been getting 6,000 views um, per video, so we might as well keep the trend going. Today's video is about the one and only Emma Finances app. I have been using this app for now since the 25th of April, so five days to nearly two, three weeks, which is really, really good. I don't normally use an app for that long unless it changes my life. So, this app is all about saving money. Like, I talk about this all the time. Monzo is great for saving money. However, Emma Finances puts it up there. It's a lot higher. It's a lot better. And I recommend if you have a Monzo card or any bank card, to be honest with you, you get Emma Finances account. All right, then. So, things I like about the Emma Finances app is that you get all your money, your account balances at one glance. To make more sense of that, let's say you've got five bank accounts. You can connect all five to this app, and it will tell you the exact amount of money you've got in all those accounts added up. So, for example... I've got a student overdraft, I've completely wiped it, it's on minus £1,000. However, I have a Monzo account and an RBS account and a PayPal account, all with different amounts of money in. Let's say I've got 160 in my eBay account, which is on PayPal, then I've got maybe £300 on Monzo, £400 in RBS, but then I've got a minus £1,000 account for my student. That means I'll add up the three accounts with positive money in and then take away £1,000, which means you get your exact amount of money, how much you've got, which is really handy. So when I couldn't see that, I just think, oh, Monzo, I've got 300 quid. Let's go out, let's go get some drinks, let's go get some food. Whereas Emma tells me, sorry, mate, you've got a thousand pound overdraft. It reminds you and makes sure you don't go crazy, spend silly amounts of money like I used to do. If I had this app maybe three months ago, four months ago, I would have saved a lot more money and probably wouldn't have gone abroad as much. <laughs> Second favourite thing, which isn't really my favourite thing, but I like how it does it. I don't like to see it. It's called this card that says the weekend is over. Let's check the damage. Now, that means that you go on the app and it says, <laughs> did you have a good weekend? And then you click it and then boom, it tells you how much you've spent on the weekend. That is a very scary thing for me as a student because I go out Friday night, Saturday night, and then on the odd occasion, we get a cheeky few drinks on a Sunday. So then I hit Monday morning, I wake up, a bit hungover, waiting for uni. Fwah, you know what I mean? You spend a lot of money, but Emma is there to tell you and keep you under control. I know this could easily be achieved by just scrolling past on Monzo, but, but Emma Finances link all five of your accounts together to make a really simple structure. There is then the most recent transactions uh, section. You can click on that and you can see your recent transactions for every single card you've got. So let's say I've got an eBay payment going out to eBay, 99 quid for fees, maybe some money coming in from absolutely trolley the website and then just spending on nights out. Um, I have two debit card current accounts set up. So I have one for Spotify from Nationwide account and then I have my Monzo set up for my phone. So I get to see all those things in one app, whereas normally I'd have to log out of my Monzo, go into my Nationwide and vice versa. It's not very easy. Whereas Emma Finances puts it all in the same place and it's really handy. Another dangerous feature is that it says this week you've spent. So it tells you exactly how much you've spent this week, um, which for me can be a lot of money sometimes. Uh, and then it breaks it down into what you actually spent it on. So that could be shopping, nights out, cinema, clubbing, food. I don't really know what you can spend it on. There is then a really simple small section saying spending and income for this month to see how your month went. So let's say you get £5,000 in um, and then you spent maybe four grand, or maybe six grand, maybe seven grand. You spent more than you got in, and that's when you think, oh crap, I shouldn't have spent so much. And then you can click on that and see where all your money went. Another good thing on the app is you can set your payday. So let's say you've got a set payday, a set Friday maybe, um, and it lets you work out how much money you've got left to last you. It helps you budget. My other favorite feature has to be the splitting purchases up to individual businesses. So that means I can click on my graph and go to McDonald's. I can see how much I've spent at McDonald's since the start of getting my account. Um, I've had this since November. So in the last six months, I've spent this amount of money. On Ubers, I've spent like 700 pounds. On Amazon, I've spent like 14,000 pounds. It is crazy how much you actually spend on individual businesses but it helps you see where all your money goes. So for example, when it says I've spent 800 pound at McDonald's, I need to stop going there. I need to have a diet, I need to stop eating crappy food, or let's say I've spent 30 pounds at factory, I don't know, and I, could, I can go there more. And basically it just breaks it up into individual like companies, which I don't think any other app can do. No banks do it anyway. Um, and it really gives you a good idea of how much you spend on each business. Finally, things I like, you can see subscriptions and when they go out. So for example, I've got a Pure Gym subscription, a Netflix subscription, a Spotify subscription, um, Tinder Gold, 
um, Adobe, uh, it's Adobe Suite, um, and a few other subscriptions as well. So that is a lot of money each month. That's probably amounting to maybe a hundred pound a month on bills. Uh, so I can see that in the app and see when they're going out. So let's say I've got three hundred pound left in my account. I want to go on a night out, but I've got two hundred of bills coming up. I'm probably going to think, mm, nah, I'm not going to go out tonight because I've got to pay those bills. And and that is what you can't really do on any other app. Um, because it shows all your subscriptions from all your bank accounts, which is really handy. Moving over to the analytics page, you can see your breakdown of the month. So at the moment, mine isn't looking too bad for May. We're only 11 days in, um, but I've spent £512. So that includes general transactions, that's categories into fifth, um, and going to different houses, and I paid for my house this month as well. Um, shopping, I've been to Aldi and Tesco, Pets at Home, spent like 70 quid there. Clubbing, 60 quid, that's all at Factory, it's pretty fun. It does transport, entertainment, eating out, groceries, business, education. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. There also is an income section which shows you money coming into your account, but that is mostly just people signing up to Monzo uh, and people sending me money from nights out. Okay then, the account section is probably my favourite thing about the app and it's the only reason really that I've kept it and I've used it so much, is that you can add more than one bank account to the app and see how much money you've got in it. This saves you time, you don't have to log into all your bank accounts at once. In the past, I'd have to log into Nationwide, see how much money I've got, maybe write it down, go to my RBS, see how much money I've got in it, write it down, add it to the Nationwide, go into my Monzo, add it, and etc. etc. You get what I mean? It's very time consuming whereas this app puts it all in one and it's really simple to add your uh, it's really simple to add your bank to the app. It's simple, just click add, um, you find the name, you put in your customer number and your password, and then you're good to go. Another really handy section, which you probably saw just then, was that you can hide certain bank accounts from your total summary. So let's say you've got a minus thousand pound overdraft, but you don't want to include it into your total because you know you've got the overdraft, you know you need to pay it off eventually. Um, you can hide it so it doesn't count. So mine just says 110 at the, bot at the top, despite having that minus 1000 below it. I also hide my eBay transactions because I did save money in there to pay for my eBay fees. Um, obviously you can unhide these whenever you want and see how your total is, but I think it's a really handy feature. Also if there's any bank accounts you want to hide, from the missus maybe, or your mom, your dad, you can just click hide and they'll never see it, so it's a really handy feature. Something that's very unusual is that you can add PayPal and cryptocurrency to the app, so when I used to do Bitcoin, I still do a bit of Bitcoin on the side, um, you can see how much Bitcoin you actually have in your wallets, um, as well as PayPal, which is very handy. Um, normally I'd have to log into PayPal with my face and then switch account to my eBay account and switch my Absolutely Trolley account. It's a lot of work, this place puts it all in one place, really handy and really simple to do. Okay, now we're heading into the more section of the app. This is where you can get a lot more features. Um, first of all, you've got Emma Pro and that is what I'm trying to push in this video is that you can sign up to this monthly subscription. I currently have a year membership. Um, and I don't think it's too expensive. The prices will be on my website link below where you can get the app. But as a free app, it is very good. You don't have to get the Emma Pro features, but it is pretty handy. Also, something they're doing at the moment is that if you refer people to the app, you can actually get free months. So let's say you get the app and you really like the app, you want to get some more features, you don't want to pay for it, you can just share the link to your mates and they'll get the app uh, and then we'll all be happy. And you'll have more customers. You'll have more months for free, um, which normally costs quite a bit of money. Um, you also get these 15 quests. These quests are just things that just help you save money. So you can set your payday, um, edit categories, upload a receipt, uh, rename an account, invite friends. It's quite a, quite a fun sort of play version of the app where you can, you know, if you're bored, you can save some money and, you know, invite some friends to the app. The reward section, something I'm yet to try, something I really do want to try, is that when you buy things with an account on this app, you also get things for free. So. Beer 52, if you get a craft beer, you get £3. So you just need to order them into your house, maybe they're like a tenner, you get £3 for doing it. So if you're going to buy the beer anyway, you get a reward for doing so. Probably my favourite one will have to be the Cornerstone. It's like a shaving company. You get an £8 reward for buying a razor subscription, which you can cancel straight away. Um, I need a razor at the moment, so I might as well buy one and use my account on Emma to get £8 for free. Another good section is the support section, and as this is quite a new, quite low level app, there's a very good support team at the moment. Live chat's quite instant. Um, if you have any issues, you run into any problems, live support will help you out. There is then the payday section, um, which helps you set payday. I don't know where my payday is yet, I've just got a new job, so I will be putting that in whenever I find out the date. Um, 
and then, then I'll make a future video about how that's helped me out save money. Alright then, so bank fees. I do suffer from bank fees from my Monzo overdraft. I get charged for it. Um, so I can swipe across to Monzo and I can see that I have paid £23.50 in fees to Monzo just for having my overdraft open. Um, I always pay off my overdrafts about every week. I put money back into it because it gets your credit score up. Um, but I'm simply in the overdraft because I've spent money on certain things that I'm going to sell and then I have to, there's, a, there's like a, a bit of a delay time between me getting the money after selling it. So I'm perfectly fine, don't worry about me money wise, um, but I think it's good to see where all your money is going if you're on fees. Um, some bank accounts charge extortionate amount for having an overdraft, like nationwide charges a fortune, whereas Monzo is probably the best one for an overdraft unless you get a student account, because student account overdrafts are free. Um, finally, we've got scramble mode. Now this is a mode I probably should have been using from the start of this video. Let's say you want to show the app to a family friend or, or someone on YouTube making videos. You can click scramble and it changes all the currency um, so no one knows your exact money situation. They can just see the features of the app and think, oh, that's quite a really good idea. Um, I'm going to get this app or, oh, you're not too bad on money then. Um, I think that's a pretty good feature. Um, I probably should have been using it for this video, but I'm, I'm not too asked about people knowing what my financial situation is in because I will always rise above it. I will always get, I'm, I'm going to be fine. Money wise, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Emma Pro, the feature that they want you to get. I like it a lot. I've used it currently to make custom categories. That is the number one thing you can do on it. Um, so there is normal categories like, uh, I think it's food, uh, living fees, uh, I think it's days out, um, shopping. It's just like general shopping, general categories that everyone, every app has, Monzo has them. But on this you can actually add your own custom category. So I have one for clubbing and I put all my factory fifth um, 42s. Any club related payment transaction gets put into that category. So I can go on my summary, click clubbing, and I can see how much money I actually spend on clubbing. Um, and it's, it's a lot. Yeah, I spend quite, <laughs> quite a bit. Um, you can also export your data as a spreadsheet, which is really handy for those with maybe accountants or you're a business, you want to keep track of things. I look at it every now and again because I used to do spreadsheets when I was younger to keep track of my paper and money. Um, but I think it's just a handy thing to have if you're a business or you're just a bit OCD, you want to export it and save it. Um, just to get a really good long line of transactions which you can get from your bank account but not for all of your bank accounts at once, which is what Emma can do. Renaming transactions, that is what you can do with Emma Pro. So if you see a transaction with a really weird name but you know what it is or you want to remind yourself what the transaction was, for example, I've, spe I've sent money to some dodgy people. I've bought Bitcoin off people. Um, and you have to send in a really weird name. I then rename it to Bitcoin just to make things easier for me when I look back at my transactions um, and it's like, oh, who's did da, da, da trading? I'm like, I have no idea what that is. Now I can rename it and it says Bitcoin. I'm like, oh, I bought Bitcoin with that. It wasn't like a scam, I didn't fall for it. Because sometimes you can go and buy something and then a few months check your bank and it says 50 quid to this random person. You're like, I didn't do that. But then you remember, oh crap, it was Bitcoin and I've just started a fraud case on Nationwide. It's yeah. It's a good feature and I use it a few times. Manual accounts. Very, very odd feature. Um, it is pretty simple. You can just make a dummy fake account and add it to your balance. So let's pretend you were the really hot girl and you want to impress her with how much money you've got. You go onto Emma Pro, you click manual accounts, you create a dummy account and put two million in there and call it your daily saver. Just say it's your savings. Um, and it adds the money to your total amount and it can make you look very rich or very poor. Um, I also think a good feature of it is to use it as a cash balance. So let's say you are one of those people who like to keep a bit of cash out for nights out um, or like just cash in hand deals or barbering. You can create a new dummy account, call it cash and then just count how much, how much cash you've got in and put it on the app. So then you can see on the app you've got all your Monzo balances and you've got a bit of cash on the side. So it works out the exact amount of money you've got without having to count it yourself, which I think is a pretty good feature. Um, the dummy account, it's... Yeah, it's quite a fun feature if you if you want to kid some people or prank some people, it's a good idea as well. And then there is the legendary pro icon. So if you've got the pro account, it's like Tinder Gold, you can get a certain icon. I've got it. Um, it looks better than the old one, to be honest. And here we go. So if you get nine referrals, you get nine people to join this app, you get one year free of Emma Pro. Or if you get 15 referrals, you get free for life. Now that is pretty awesome. So I will leave my link in the description below. 
even though I don't, I don't, I've already got a membership, I don't need it, but it'd be pretty cool to get it for life. So I'm gonna leave it below, see how many people we can get to join up. Um, and it's just a really good app. Overall, I find the app and the service very helpful. Uh, my favorite thing is seeing my total balance in one place and seeing all my accounts. Um, in the past, having to log in and log out of all these different bank accounts and then manually adding them up was a pain in the ass. Um, so I'm really happy that I can now do this with this app. As I said, this is a paid video. I did get an email from them and I said I would check out the app. And then I said, actually, this is quite an all right app. I like the features, so I said, Give me this amount of money and I will do the video because it is taking my time, it is an edit, I have to do it, spend a few hours on it. Um, so I haven't been paid to say anything, I haven't been told it has to be a positive review. I could have slated the hell out of it, um, but honestly I, there isn't much wrong with it. If I had to pick out some negatives, that's just me as an app designer, it is a bit childish, the layout. Um, but that is just to make it more simple, make it less intimidating, um, and I fully understand why they've done that. Um, other than that, the only, there's not many features I'd want more. Um, I think the issue with these finances app is that it says it saves you money. Um, and people think, oh, if I download it, I'll just suddenly start saving money. No, it just shows you where your money goes so you can think in your head, I need to stop doing this or I need to do this more. Or if you're spending all your money at McDonald's, go on a diet, you know what I mean? Stop going there, make your own food at home. Um, so please don't get that misread. It doesn't save you money. It doesn't start giving you money for no reason. You've just got to be smart about it and read the data and think about what it means. So that is my review and my showing off the Emma Finances app. It is a very good app. You should download it. Connect all your bank accounts to it. See how much money you've actually got. See what you're most spending on. So I will tell you that my, I don't know, what's my most expensive, uh, this month, I've spent £20 at McDonald's, 50 quid at Uber. It's only been 10 days. Comment below, once you've got the app, what your most expensive, what did I spend it on? So for me, that'll be Amazon, 14 grand. If yours is McDonald's, comment below, say McDonald's. If yours is Amazon, Uber, Tesco, Pornhub, I don't know what your most expensive expenditures are. But yeah, comment below with what you spend the most of your money on. Um, and I will get back to you with some funny feedback. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I do like making these financing videos, saving money, because I really need to save money. So not only am I learning how to save money, but I'm also preaching it out to other people. So check out the app. It is a free app, um, and the pro features on a necessity, um, but you should check them out by referring your friends to them. So the link is in the description. Go buy the app. Go download the app. Um, and let's see how much money you're actually wasting on what on. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.